Hello, welcome back to another beer review and this beer I have to say a big big thank you to uh, Peter for getting me this beer from Poland so big thumbs up yet again to you mate I really really appreciate you for doing this it's fantastic that you can bring some Polish beers over and the beer he's given me is I think it's a lager uh, I've done try to kind of drum something up um, couldn't really find anything about it um, and it's from uh, well I'm not gonna I can't really pronounce the brewer to this but it's called Brock Sambor lovely jubbly boys and girls there you go coming in at 6% ABV so big fan of Polish beer I think Polish beer is very underrated very drinkable and um, I think more and more people should go to your nearest Polish delicatessen or shop or whatever and pick them up because I think, well, I think they're worth investigating. So let's crack this one open like you do. And it's got a nice crown there, block crown. Bit of CO2 running off the neck there, as you can see. Some people call it smoke, but in really te technical terms, it's really carbon dioxide wanting to escape. Um, from the dewy, grassy from the neck, it's, it's kind of like um, a dewness, what you get in the mornings, you go walk, take a walk across the fields, you get a, like a, um, especially around hay time, you get that, that subtle aroma, what you get in the, um, in the air as you walk through. Well, I do anyway, but sometimes I go for an early morning strut, but that's another story. So let's pour out. So she's coming out pale. Reminds me of a Pilsner, in a way. Um, like Pilsner Urquell, or... Um, excuse me, got to lick heavy. Or um, Budvar, even. So, very pale, carbonated. Not much carbonation going on there. Um, quite a generic head on it. Um, I, this beer is actually on generic, shall I say, white head, frothy. Um, this beer is actually on um, white beer. Um, so it wasn't that kind to it, but I don't really give a toss what people think about it. But if you like this beer, you know, you get hold of it and try it. In the, in the nose, it's a little bit coiny. Still getting that sort of hoppiness, dewiness um, from the um, glass side. Smells alright though, it does. It smells like a Pilsner. I don't know if it is a Pilsner. Um, it's all in Polish, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> so cheers, Peter. I'm gonna go in. It feels like a taste you get from a cracker, like um, a Jacob's cracker. It's kind of like that little bitty kind of taste, like a dryness there. Go beyond that, it's very, very drinkable, I must admit. It's a cracker, it is. This isn't a beer for your beer snobs out there. This is a beer um, for people who sit down with family, have a meal, crack open a few bottles. It will go with food perfectly. It's one of them beers, very versatile, um, whatever lifestyle you do have. Um, for me, yeah, it's a great beer. It doesn't feel 6%. <laughs> like a, that's a typical Polish, Polish fodder for you. You know, you get these Polish beers. I think, I think Peter gave me a porter a while back. I did review it. It's great. Everything was beautiful. You know, everything you know drank well. It's nine and a half percent. After the review, after I'd finished drinking it, it felt like someone just smacked me in the stomach. 
it really did. And um, it could be could be so this, but this one it's okay. It's very drinkable. Um, it reminds me a little bit of San Miguel in a way. Um, you know, if someone offered me San Miguel, I'll drink it. It's you know, if you're out at a party or something. And it's the same for this beer. It's it's very drinkable. It can go with any type of food, and um, it's sessionable, and you can drink it all day really. Um, I'm having this at room temperature. I think room temperature is, does is a little bit more kinder to it than keeping it too cold. I think sometimes, you know, you keep your beers warm and they get that extra bit of taste out of them. And it's really, really nice. Yeah, really, really nice. So I'm going to go in for one more time. And again, thank you again, Peter. Really appreciate this. Really do. So cheers. I'm going to go in. Hmm. Nice little bit of sweet malt there. And very, very drinkable. So boys and girls, get hold of that one. Go out, give it a go. Brock Sandball. Pretty good one. It is a pretty good one. Very drinkable. And um, please subscribe. Um, murder me in the comments. Absolutely, you know, kick the crap out of me if you think I'm totally talking out of my belly. Talking out, talking out of my arse. Anyway. Cheers. See you on my next one.